the switches. So those are probably buzzers with an LED on them. Um, yeah, because these, these things probably all have LEDs in them. So this is when DigiKey is a little stressful. Uh, the smart way to do this is just Control F LED. And then you can sort of keep pressing the button until you get down to something that looks like this. Uh, see, like OLED screens, LED matrices, so like a bunch of dots. So here we go. LEDs, cheap, not very, not super bright. That would take up a ton of power. Uh, so our, the package that we want is um, Groovel. As you can see, there are tons of different things you can specify for your LED. Well, let's pick some nice little ones. Now we've got Still tons of different kinds of LEDs, but you can arbitrarily pick this one and use it as an example. This looks like a red LED. <laughs> so we click this thing, we open up this data sheet, and um, sensors will also generally have this kind of information. But so this is a bunch of stuff we are not going to be super used and interested. This is interesting. So this is the Relative intensity. So if you have like this is this basically tells you that if you put a light over here 90 degrees to the LED, it's not going to notice it. Or if you're looking at the LED from the side, you won't see it. You'll definitely see this in your LEDs here. If you look at it from the side, you'll just see sort of like the top illuminated. If you look at it from dead on, you'll be blinded. These are actually pretty bright. Um, so you guys can test it out in a couple minutes. Um, here you have, I can't read that, so it's bad. Uh, electrical characteristics. So a lot of the times we'll also have um, color versus temperature. So as your LED heats up, the color will actually shift a little bit. This may be important to you. Um, and also sometimes have a curve representing what kind of light it makes, that's also, that's related to the response curve, so if you had a sensor, you would have a peak sensitivity maybe at one frequency, and as you got farther away from that frequency, you would have to account for, and by frequency and frequency of light, you would have to account for it being more sensitive in green than maybe in red. Um, and so calibration comes into this. So you guys are starting to yawn, you know, you're tired of me talking, which I definitely understand. Um, today I try to keep the talking to less, give us more time to work on things and debug and also answer questions. Was this good? Sideways? Good? Okay. Fill up the magic sheet. We'll pass out parts. I will come around and <coughs> debug. Ah, we should talk about one more thing before we do this. Build the sheets and then I'll, I'll tell you guys one more thing and then we'll pass out points. Questions? I saw a hand go up. I'm looking at you. Do you have a question? Okay, that's okay. Do you have a state? Anything? Okay. That's fine. You don't have to. <laughs> I just, if anyone does have questions, you should definitely ask me. Because um, now is a good time to ask. May or may not be the best time to ask. Um, also, um, I'll make an effort to try and get these up on YouTube sooner. And put the handout up today. I only just got the videos up on YouTube yesterday. I know people don't like to like download you know, three gigabytes of movies. Um, so, fill out the sheet, pass up the first one that I got to work on. I'll just sort of take a look at it. Again, you don't have to put your names on these. But it's good to know. Let's go to the back. So 
and I cannot do the bad things. Which is a really cool thing. I have no idea what it looks like. 